Hi ladies, this is Tia with the Five Waiting Wounds, and this video today is going to discuss the cost of infertility and how you may want to budget for that cost. So we're just going to talk about a few key. Um, we're just going to talk about a few key um, treatments and medications. So it may not reflect what you're taking at this time, but this is just an example of a few things. In addition to that. These are national averages. This is not going to be where you're located and how much you pay, but it will say an average across the nation. And for those ladies that are not here in the U.S., if you could, you know, let us know how much you pay or even do a video and let us know how much you pay because from what I understand in other countries, um, infertility treatments may be a little bit cheaper. So first we're going to start off with Clomid. Um, Clomid usually runs between ten to a hundred dollars, and um, a Clomid cycle with blood work and ultrasound can run you between five hundred to sixteen hundred dollars. Um, and monitored injectable FSH cycles can run you between nine hundred and three thousand dollars. And the cost of injectable fertility drugs for an injectable FSH cycle can run you between a thousand and thirty-five hundred dollars. So these prices can seem a little bit steep and also a little bit um, intimidating when you're dealing with infertility. Um, but there are some ways to combat that. I'm going to go over a couple of more numbers and then also go over some tools that you may use to budget for, for infertility. Um, IVF runs for, the average is about $11,000. Um, IVF um, plus an ICSI um, would cost you about twenty twelve thousand five hundred dollars and IVF with donor aids will run you about twenty eight thousand dollars. Wow, that's really steep ladies. And the cost of injectable drugs, fertility drugs for a donor cycle can run you between fifteen hundred and four thousand dollars, which is so ex so expensive as we know it. So some of the tools that me and my husband have use just to give you an idea you don't have to adopt these but just something that you can look into is you need to budget for um in vitro, not in vitro fertilization that's what me and my husband are going to do but you need to budget for your infertility because there are going to be costs that may come out of pocket i know a lot of you have insurance and some may not and some may some insurance cover a portion of a, of a cost but they won't cover all of the costs and actually in some states they cover 100% of the cost, which is great if you live in those states. But um, to combat what you need to do in terms of budgeting, me and my husband have set a timeline for when we want to actually start our first cycle of IVF, and we want to start that in the spring, maybe June, July sometime. Well, I guess that's going into the summer. But like June and July of next year, 2011, just because we want to give ourselves some time to save up the money and have everything covered and also just regular everyday um, expensive expenses that you have. Um, also, me and my husband actually have t-shirts available for sale and um, that's something that we have done and we also have decided that we may want to, um, you know, um, have like a, you can do a garage sale, you can also do um, we also have an eBay store where we sell items in addition to, you know, our regular jobs that we do every day. So just something to bring in some more income to help us deal with the cost of infertility. And I know that's one of the very um, staggering issues when it comes to infertility. Not only are you struggling with issues with your body, but on top of that, it's so expensive to actually address those issues. And if you don't have certain insurance companies, you know, you may not be able to get covered. Also, another thing is for those of you ladies that do have insurance companies, it never hurts to write to the insurance company and ask them if they will cover more of the cost. That was told to me by um, um, the genetic counselor at, at that me and my husband were dealing with, and she said just write to the insurance company. And they may or may not accept um, your suggestion, but it doesn't hurt to ask. So just if you have insurance and they cover 25% or even if they cost up, cover 75%, see if they will cover the entire cost. So again, the budgeting is, you know, 
setting the timeline in addition to that, you know, maybe selling some things or, you know, um, <clears throat> saving up some money so that you can have the, the, um, the state of mind where you're not worried about the issue of money when it comes to infertility. So just giving yourself those couple of steps and whatever you have done to, um, to have, well, I'm sorry, whatever you've done to, to combat this issue, please let us know. Feel free to leave questions and comments and we will get back to you. Thanks so much ladies. Um, you're wonderful for watching. Bye-bye.